is underway. And we've been to Southampton, who are investing in women's football for the first time in more than 10 years. Can you move the ball to the other area? So always be ready. It was after relegation in 05 that Southampton disbanded their women's football arm. This is where the rebuilding starts. The club has gone into partnership with the local girls' centre of excellence. The long-term aim is a Saints team in Super League. The boys' academy has done so well, um, and that's ultimately where we want the girls to be. So as it stands at the moment, there isn't a women's team affiliated or assigned to the club, um, but it's certainly a priority for us. And um, the way the Super League is potentially opening up, there might be an opportunity for us. Six of the girls in the squad are set to go to England international camps over the summer. They're preparing to join the new professional world of women's football. It was quite sexist, like girls can't play, so it kind of motivates you to show that girls can play. Like at my school, you kind of want to prove the boys wrong. I think it's like not very far away from the men's, but um, yeah, like I don't think you need to go like elsewhere, like different countries now. I think England's the best place. We're going to go again. Ready? Play. One of my first clubs was Southampton Football Club as an 11-year-old trying to play in a senior side because opportunities just didn't exist back in the um, uh, back in the day. So I've seen the, the game grow from a, a playing perspective and from a coaching perspective. For us, there's potential to develop and ideally under 20s Super League 2 um, and the Champions League ready by 2021. Simple as that. Absolutely. The club has made huge progress in the Premier League. The South Coast girls are now aiming to follow them all the way to the WSL. Peter Sot, Sky Sports. More Olympic news on the way. Plus, find out if some big hitting...